Greeting cyberspace. What's going on, health hoppers? Um, I want to get back into some acid and alkaline talk. It's kind of like a part two. But I'm only going to briefly touch on that some more because some people said I left some information out, expressed some concerns on that. So, uh, but before that, the Empress said I needed to do another reintroduction, reintroduce myself. So. I probably should do that uh, just to let everybody know where I'm coming from and what this is all about officially. Official uh, meeting, you know, each other, get to know each other, all that type of great shit. But uh, yeah, for all intents and purposes right now, I'm Dr. Atom. Atom Hotel, not a medical doctor, not no holistic practitioner. Um, uh, DD, got Doctor of Divinity, ordained minister. So you can call me Reverend Doctor Aten, Reverend Aten, just Aten. You know what I'm saying? When we dealing with the health op, that's who we dealing with. That's what it's about right now. Just giving everybody the information that I've learned as a self-educated naturalist, nutritionist, herbalist. You know, I'm not uh, here to give no profound science on any of these things. Like, your job is to do your own research. And all I'm trying to do really is give some basic information. That's what I set this up for. Health Hop. It's for the health. This is holistic health care for the hip hop community. So, most the majority of the hip hop community is not they not eating like Dr. Savy eat and or Dr. Layla Africa. They ain't got to the point of Jewel Pukram. They not on that level. And I know it's a lot of people out there who are on that level who might be listening and y'all might want me to step it up with some more information, but that's not necessarily what this was about. I will be getting into all that. Like I said, I've been walking this path for you know, short amount of time. I gave up the poisonous animals in 99 and began this journey and picked up some valuable information on the way. And some of it is, you know, common knowledge. Some of it is not so common. So for all those who, you know, might be wanting me to who are already familiar with all the stuff I'm saying, then that wasn't for you what I'm saying right then. Later on, we get into different, into the higher degrees, and we'll discuss different levels of the game. But for those who might be transitioning and getting into this, people who are into hip hop and listening to the music and might not, they might be living fast and don't have the time, don't think they had the time to properly prepare certain meals and do that, you know, that's a big concern for us. We gotta address all them issues. Yeah, all this stuff begins here. <clears throat> and that's the first thing. But anyway, I hope I introduced myself. That was about as good as it gets. Ain't much else to say. I'm just here to give my own experiences, and which is what I really should have did on the last acid and alkaline video. Let's get back to that. Cause um, some people expressed concern that I left out some things and didn't say certain things and really my intention was not to just be reading out a list out of a book telling you things what I really should have just done was just tell you about what I do the things I eat and what's been working for me and have worked for other people because along my journey I have had the opportunity to uh, share this information with other people and help them heal themselves I, you know, healed lung cancer and breast cancer and allergies and eczema and uh, anxiety attacks. Like, so I got a good history. I even healed myself of very serious illness, you know. So I don't even know what the fuck what it was. I didn't go to the doctor and see what it was. I looked up my symptoms. 
and I treated myself accordingly. And here I am, you know, many years later to tell about it. So that was my first experiment. And after that, after I saw that it worked for me, I was able to get the same information to other people and seen it worked. So that's what I'm really trying to do, just to be a guide like I've been able to do for my friends and family. If they need a question, got questions about stuff, training to you know what they can eat, what they can try, what they, what's good, what's not, and I usually can help them. And that's what it's really all about. So acids and alkalines. I will talk about limes though, because a brother did mention limes as opposed to lemons, because I mentioned lemons. And he mentioned the Dr. Sebi. Let me speak about Dr. Sebi too for a minute. One of the reasons I even got into this, I'm not trying to be Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi is still Dr. Sebi doing what he do. But when I first had the opportunity of seeing Dr. Sebi speak, I remember thinking to myself, I would love to carry on that work. Like, I want to carry on his work. Because he was like 74 when I seen him, I think. If I'm mistaken. I don't know how that Dr. Savior is right now. But he came to Atlanta about five or six years ago, and I had the privilege of seeing him speak. And I was very inspired by that. And I, I said I would li like to continue that, you know. But right now, I'm not trying to give Dr. Sabi type information. I'm not trying to get as strict as that. Like every, every, I don't even want to give. I'm not trying to tell nobody how to eat or how to live. Like I'm not trying to tell nobody to be a vegan or a vegetarian. <clears throat> I don't think I'm not saying I don't agree that that's the best diet for everybody. I think you have to know yourself, and I think that's more important. So I know what's worked for me and what's been working for me. And it might not necessarily work for everybody, but you can try it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've done. I've tried certain things. And as a scientist, I've watched these things work in a certain amount of people, and enough amount of people to be able to say, okay, this should be able to work across the board, certain simple things. So Dr. Sabi was one of the reasons why I got on this began this whole journey like as far as trying to reach more people like I was already on I was already a vegetarian that's the only reason I knew who Dr. Savy was I was interested I found a flyer in a vegetarian restaurant that I was going to all the time so he didn't get me on the diet but he got me inspired to want to stand up there and spread this message health and wellness like Queen of Fua and her son Supernova Slum had to, did the same thing for me when I got to see them both speak around the same time so that was a big time for me around the time my son was being born anyway what we're going to talk about the lemons and the limes that's what we're talking about limes Dr. Sebi say limes are better than lemons Dr. Quatamani also agrees with that. He don't use limes in the book that I showed you. So, I don't know the science of that. When I did my research on it, I looked it up. They will, they will tell you lemons to have more nutritional value. It depends on who you ask. I don't know. I haven't found a lime with a seed yet. So, that bothers me <laughs> on just a level like as far as where is the seed? Like that's I don't I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's because I'm buying the organic ones. I don't know what the difference could be. So anybody got insight on that? Just because Dr. Sebi say something like I would need to know the science behind that. Like I'm drawn off it being green. I'm sure the green has something to do with it. Like I know the color, the hue. What are we going to call it carbon, melanin? Like, I know all the darker 
fruits usually the more colorful or vibrant the better it is more nutritional it should be but I don't know I know that lemons are widely used by most vegans and vegetarians so I use that and they're most easy they're more readily available especially organically it's harder for me to find organic limes than it is organic lemons that's just personally where I'm at so Feel free to expand on that. Anybody got some more science on that? As far as the grains go, brother also expressed that I left out some grains that were alkaline. And I did, because I didn't plan to name all the foods that you can eat. Like I, like I said, it's not what I was trying to do. But when I was reading the list, he was just naming all the stuff I eat, which reminded me that that's what I should have just done, was tell y'all what I recommend and what I eat and what I find to be best for most people. Most melanated people. So some of those things were spelt, aramath, which mixed with millet makes a great breakfast cereal. Quinoa, it's a staple, and I, I keep quinoa and couscous. Uh, quinoa, sprouted, sprouted quinoa, ripe banana, honey or raw agave, and dried fruit of your choice mixed together. Delicious uh, breakfast, raw breakfast. That's one of my favorite recipes. Like, Just throw that out there. And what other the grains is a black rice. Excellent, man. I don't know. I slept on black rice for a long time, but I found, I ran across it at, um, at my health food store and I tried it and I love that black rice. Melanated rice, carbonated rice. That's the shit. Uh, wild rice as opposed to brown rice. If you're eating white rice, you tripping. Leave that shit out. Wild rice, black rice, dark shit. Stay away from everything white. That's a pretty simple rule right there. <laughs> the darker it is, usually the better it is for you. So I hope I didn't leave nothing out. He named it was other grains, like I said, but those are the ones I use. I ain't gonna name no more. Let me see, maybe I let me see if I left anything out that I use that I like. I think that's about it as far as those go. But do your own research on your list. The point was to balance your body, alkaline or acid. Find out what's as what forms acid. Find out what forms alkaline. Find out what what works best for you, and you use that. Plain and simple. Peace.